fantastic. What do you think of that one, Harrison? Is that good? Right. They hope they're teaching the Ryder Cup stars of the future. So Luke Donald plays it like this, guys. Yeah. And the fact someone starring in this weekend's competition learned to putt here gives all the inspiration they need. Well, I hope to follow in his footsteps because I've been playing for years now and I just want to be like him when I'm older. World number one? Yeah, world number one. He just played and practiced all day long. Steve Morrell was Hazelmere's club professional in the 80s when a nine-year-old called Luke Donald turned up. Bear in mind he was only about three foot tall. He was extremely good. He really was. He had a magnificent short game. I mean, I think we uh, taught him the short game by getting him to go out on our front practice ground and pick up our golf balls. <laughs> I think that's how he learned. It clearly works. Now 34, Donald spent much of the past year as world number one. A sensational day as well. But in the five years he played on the fairways in this part of Buckinghamshire, he also made his mark. And this is the green of the 10th hole, otherwise known as Luke's ace, because it was here that Luke Donald made his first ever hole-in-one. He was 12. And that sort of story even spurs on those in their 20s, hoping to make a living from the game. I'm hoping to turn pro next year. And obviously with Luke Donald, his roots are from here. He, he started here, so... That serves as inspiration. I mean, why can't I go and do the same thing? And even if I achieved half of what he's accomplished, I mean, that'd be that'd be great. And if Luke Donald is able to add another Ryder Cup success to his name come Sunday evening, there'll be no prouder golf club in the land than Hazelmere. Nick Beek, BBC London News.